We come to you live on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by the pride of Plainfield, New Jersey. It's Jay Williams. Look at you giving my hometown some love. Respect to the Queen City. It's going to be a big time game tonight. Let's see who's ready to play on the floor. You are a king in those parts. You never forget where it all began. And we're ready to start this one at midcourt. The opening tip is controlled by the Mercury as we get this one started. Nothing going here on that drive. Has a look. And scores on the step back. No doubt about where that one was headed. Here comes the screen. He's coming high. He's coming high. Watch the screen. That one's going to be out of bounds. Here comes the screen. Has a chance. Rebound taken by Harrison. To the rim. Nice pass to get things going. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Finishes strong. Not only is Diana Taurasi an unbelievable scorer, but her passing is almost as good. She finished in the top 10 in assists nine times, including finishing fourth last year. Walsh it up. Runners good there. Clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look. Has a chance. And Griner with the rebound. Here comes the screen. Nothing going here on that drive. Trying to cash in. It's good. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Screen coming. Screen, screen, switch on it, switch on it, screen. From in close, count the bucket for two. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Layup chance. Goes reverse to lay it in. Now their head coach signals for a timeout. They'll regroup before the action continues.
New blood coming in for both sides. Layup try, count the basket. Two more points in the paint. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. Lost it up, can't get it to go that time. And the wings come up with it. That's going to be out of bounds. Let's go, defense. And the rebound comes to Johnson. Has a look. Deep two there won't go. Knocked loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. To the rim. Finishing inside the paint on that one. That'll do it for the first quarter. The Mercury in possession of the lead. One quarter in the books. This has the potential to be a good one. And when both teams are playing at this level, it just continues to reaffirm that I was excited to watch both of these teams play this entire week. It's been a solid game so far, but this has a chance to be a great one down the stretch. Walsh it up, and the finish at the rim. Man, that may not have been a gimme, but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense. From in close, easy pat to the rim. Look, there was barely any contact on that last play. I agree with the ref's no call. Let him play. You got me left, screen left. Ball, 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 I got a mismatch. Top of the key, show fire a three. Rebound taken in by the Mercury. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three. Layup chance. Spinning shot won't fall. Now a shot rejected. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. Layup try. Oh, nice pass there, but she couldn't finish. Shot clock winding down. Has a chance. Knocks it down from mid-range. Not a Ferrari, definitely not a Lambo, but hey, gets you from point A to point B. 
Now their head coach signals for a timeout. They'll regroup before the action continues. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. Loss it up. Off the assist. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Five seconds to shoot. Try to cash in. Uh, not today. And the rebound taken by the Mercury. To the rim. Plenty of contact. The shot no good. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the refs to blow the whistle. And the rebound comes to Little. Walsh it up, and the rebound taken in by Dallas. Skyler now for three, and the rebound comes to Little. From in close, cashes in for two. Diana Taurasi, of course, a legend playing here with UConn back in the early 2000s. She won three consecutive NCAA titles and two Naismiths. I'm pretty jealous. I only got one. And the rebound taken by Brittany Griner. Let's go. I got an on lock, on lock, nothing. Layup chance and scores at the rim. Beautifully done with the Euro step. A belated congratulations to Dewana Bonner, along with Candace Dupree of the Fever. The couple has had quite an eventful last two years. In 2017, Bonner gave birth to twin girls. And then in 2018, she returned to the Mercury and had an all-star campaign, averaging 17 points per game. And from somebody who's about to have his first child, you go, girl. It's Bonner. For three, the Mercury recover. On the follow, way to stay with it. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul, but take it when you can get it. Yeah, I got ball, I got ball. Defense, making the ball handler work. Trying to cash in. And the rebound comes to Little. Long key from three-quarters court. Time expires to end the first half with the Mercury out in front.
set to go here in the second half. The third quarter is underway. Layup try. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. All right, you got the first bucket of the second half. Now get a stop because, honestly, that's where your troubles were in the first. Here comes the screen. Shot clock, it's coming down to four. Now down to three. Able to convert inside. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim and the rest was all net. Diggin Smith with the three. The wings get it back. Lofts it up. Count the basket at the rim. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. Curling inside to the rim. Yes. And the foul. And a chance at three coming up. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball. But sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Unable to connect on the free throw. Shot clock's at five. Down to four. Diggin Smith for three. Griner with the rebound. Nothing going here on that drive. Oh, nice pass there, but she couldn't finish. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now, as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you're forcing them to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket. You're going to lower the chances of them making that shot. Always a wrap. You're too slow. Down to five on the 24. Switch. Watch the roll. One of the shot clock. Hoist to three. Offensive rebound by the wings. Walsh it up, and Griner rips down the rebound. Screen coming. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Right. From in close, the pass set it all up. You see, here's why versatility is so imperative for your offensive repertoire. If you're a one-trick pony as a defender, I know exactly how to defend you because you only do one thing. But if you have versatility, then the coach can put you in multiple looks within the offense, and then you can get it any way you want it. Has a look. And that's rebounded by Griner. And the wings claim the board. Five to shoot. Has a chance. Offensive rebound by Dallas. Layup chance. The follow won't go either. Green coming. Left, 
Shot clock winding down. Has a look. Shot from 15 won't fall. Offensive rebound by the Mercury. Layup try. Oh, a lot of contact. Shots no good and no foul. See you, guys. Trying to cash in. Deep two there. Won't go. The Wings get it back. The follow won't go either. Nothing going here on that drive. Loss it up. And scores. Strong take. Not only is Diana Taurasi an unbelievable scorer, but her passing is almost as good. She finished in the top ten in assists nine times, including finishing fourth last year. Here's Thornton for three. That misses with three seconds left. That ends the third quarter. The Mercury owning a commanding lead. Mercury have it first as we start the fourth quarter. You figured they certainly had the advantage coming into this one. Jay, that's how it's played out. On paper, this wasn't set up to be much of a contest. If the crowd could have gotten into it early, maybe. But sometimes a team is so good that you never had a chance to even start. Nothing going here on that drive. Has a look. And the rebound comes to Little. Let's go, defense. Shot, shot. And the wings are there to grab the rebound. To the rim. Offensive rebound by the wings. Walsh it up. There you go. Way to stay with it. Contact on a drive can be a beautiful thing. Making those tough shots can really help you build a mental advantage over your defender. Has a chance. Doesn't have the touch. No good. Knock loose. Five on the shot clock. Trying to cash in. And the rebound taken in by Phoenix. From in close. Oh, nice find for the basket. We get a whistle and a timeout as they'll get a minute to regroup and talk things over. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. It's a 
They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Layup chance. And the Mercury are going to come away with it. Has a look. With the step back. Ah, uh, the savvy players, they create contact. They throw their arms in it. They even throw their bodies into it. And as soon as you become hesitant defensively, they got you right where they want you. Down to five. Down to four to shoot, and the rebound comes to Little. The game is won in the details. The team who has the most attention to the minutia is a team that wins the ball game. And from the beginning of this game, this team has been mentally engaged. I know the season's a long year, but when you come mentally engaged and you have attention to detail, whew, that's a scary thing to watch. Layup try, finishing inside the paint on that one. Two points, take them any way you can get them. Loss it up, and the rebound comes to Johnson. Gets it in the left corner. Here comes the screen. Nothing going here on that drive. Johnson now for three. Can't get the bounce. And Phoenix is there to grab the rebound. To the rim. A oh, beautiful feed, but she couldn't finish. Walsh it up. Full throttle, right to the basket for the deuce. Now their head coach signals for a timeout. They'll regroup before the action continues. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. Knocks it down off the step back. Diana Taurasi, of course, a legend playing here with UConn back in the early 2000s. She won three consecutive NCAA titles and two Naismiths. I'm pretty jealous. I only got one. And Griner with the rebound. 